there this is Roberto Matthews and I wanted to show you a little experiment that I've been doing um, as before I'm using the uh, the old pop bottle soda bottle method of watering where you uh, take a bottle you cut a small hole at the bottom and you let it leak in as the plants need it and it works out really well because I don't have to water these plants every day at all um, as they need the plant I mean as they need the water they go ahead and they grow and it works out pretty well but I also wanted to show you a new experiment that, experiment that I've been doing and it's with uh, growing it straight into a mason jar with nutrients already in it so this basil plant was planted at the same time as this basil plant and actually all of these basil plants and as you can see it's a big difference they were planted at exactly the same time um, and when this one was a little bit big bigger had its true leaves I put it into this bottle with nutrients and the growth is explosive and then I can show you that look at the root system the root system is incredible in here and uh, it's doing just beautifully it's either ready to plant in the ground or I can continue leaving it in here I never have to uh, water this one because um, it's got the water and the nutrients already in it so I just wanted to show you that um, this uh, mason jar with the aluminum foil wrapped around it and with the uh, the growth formula in it is working beautifully um, it's working a lot faster and a lot better than just using regular soil so uh, I might be doing more of this in the future let me show you another one this is a tomato plant that I grew half in soil and the rest of it is growing into the uh, bottle and as you can see now the problem with this one is because it's in soil too the pH um, is changing so uh, I wanted to try it with soil and kind of a hybrid and it's not working as well and that's why it's still growing but as you saw the roots are discolored they're not completely white like the uh, basil plant was let me show you another one this was the original experiment this was some uh, red leaf lettuce um, which is kind of still green at the moment but it's working beautifully too uh, lettuce really works in this system look at that and the uh, the water is kind of low there so as it takes up the water it just grows out so I, I eat from this almost every day take a couple of leaves and it grows as though I didn't take anything so it works out beautifully as you can see I have it up here in my greenhouse so I don't need to have any um, type of artificial lighting or electricity or anything it just no matter how hot it is it grows out here beautifully and um, it works so I just wanted to show you guys how the garden is growing oh just so you can see I also have over here a couple more um, bottles working over here working with my kale these are a few more tomato plants and these to tomato plants are growing into the water just like this and uh, soil so as you can see it's very slow but eventually perhaps next year I'm gonna put some more into some bottles like I did this time I'll show you the comparison between these two these were also grown from seed versus this and as you can see there's a big difference here now uh, the tomato since it's growing its soil halfway it's still a little bit discolored but as you can see it works a lot faster so that hydroponic experiment is working beautifully thank you very much